When choosing a new mountain bike, the first thing to understand is the differences between the various types. This will help you to find the bike that is just right for the type of riding you plan on doing. There are two basic types of mountain bike, and these can be split into four disciplines. We're going to look at the pros and cons of each to help you choose the bike that is right for you. Hardtails are the simplest and most affordable type of mountain bike. They have a suspension fork on the front to smooth the bumps in the trail, but the rear wheel is attached rigidly to the frame. A hardtail will be lighter than a similarly priced full suspension bike. Full suspension bikes also have a rear shock as well as a fork. This makes the bikes much smoother when the going gets rough. The main advantage of a full suspension bike is they're less skittish over rough terrain, so you can ride faster with more confidence. The cross-country or XC mountain bike category includes recreational hardtails as well as high-end full suspension cross-country race bikes. These bikes have about 100 millimetres of suspension travel and are designed to be fast and efficient uphill while still being capable on relatively smooth downhill off-road descents. XC bikes have lower profile tyres than other mountain bikes. This means that they're quicker on smooth terrain, so are good for general cycling on gravel tracks and cycle paths, as well as single track trails. XC bikes have a wide range of gears to get you up steep hills, and most are fitted with hydraulic disc brakes for confident speed control in all weather conditions. Compared to the other disciplines, these bikes offer a more traditional mountain bike riding position with narrower bars and longer stems. This makes them efficient on smoother terrain, but they can feel a bit sketchy when the going gets rough. Trail bikes are the most popular type of mountain bike with enthusiasts. We've got a hardtail and a full sus trail bike here. They have between 120 and 150 mil suspension travel, which makes them ideal for trail centre riding. Modern trail bikes are made to be fast and confident on the fun descents and flowing single track trails that characterise modern mountain biking. These bikes are lightweight and efficient, so the climbs aren't too much of a chore. A hardtail trail bike is a great way to get into the sport of mountain biking and will help you to learn the essential skills. When compared to a similarly priced full sus, hardtails are lighter weight and will have a better component spec. Full sus trail bikes are much smoother on rough terrain, which will encourage you to take on more challenging terrain and help you to take your riding to the next level. Trail bikes have a more relaxed geometry than XC bikes with slacker head tube angles for a more confident ride when the going gets rough. Wide handlebars and short stems give you more control on challenging terrain. Most trail bikes have dropper posts which allow you to lower your saddle easily so that your body position isn't compromised when riding steep descents. One by drive trains with clutch mechs make sure the chain stays in place on rough trails and wide range cassettes give you plenty of gears for the climbs. Like trail bikes, enduro bikes are designed to be ridden uphill and down all day long but the emphasis is skewed much more towards descending. With 160 to 180 mil of suspension travel, these bikes are very capable on challenging descents. It's when the going gets really steep and rough that enduro bikes come into their own. Enduro MTBs have even more relaxed geometry than trail bikes with slacker head angles. As well as offering more travel, the forks tend to have wider tubes and the shocks often have piggyback reservoirs and coil springs. This helps the bikes to handle rougher terrain. The brakes are more powerful, 
but the rest of the spec is similar to a trail bike. While you can ride an enduro bike up and down all day long, trail bikes are quicker climbers and are more fun to ride on most trail centre tracks. An enduro bike is a good choice if you spend most of your time pushing your limits on the most challenging trails or want to test yourself in an enduro race. For most riders though, a trail bike will be ideal. Downhill bikes are the real specialists of the mountain bike world. As the name suggests, these are the bikes that are designed for riding the very steepest and roughest descents. You can't ride these bikes uphill, you've either got to push or get an uplift back to the top. Downhill bikes have extreme geometry with around 200 millimetres of suspension travel. Triple clamp forks are a signature of these bikes and help make them very stable when hard charging through rough terrain. Everything is bigger on a downhill bike, except for the rear cassette, which is missing the big climbing cogs that you find on other mountain bikes. DH bikes are great for bike parks and downhill races, but you'll need another bike if you want to ride anywhere else. Have a look at our cross country, trail and enduro videos to find out more about these MTB disciplines. And if you're struggling to choose between a hardtail or a full sus, we have a video that will help you make that decision. <laughs>